Hello everyone, I always read comments on Facebook or on Instagram or on YouTube videos. A lot of people asking what is the best camera to buy, what is the best camera this year, what is the best camera in 2019, 2020. Recently I started to become also this question and another question about my camera. Is it a good camera? Is it worth buying in 2020? Is it, um, is it an old camera? This question seems too easy to ask but at the same time it's so hard to answer because before asking this question you have to ask yourself a lot of questions and you have to know the answer of this question already before asking this question how do you want to use it in the studio for example or in the nature do you want to use it for portrait photography for landscape photography do you care about having um, high ISO or you don't want to raise your ISO at all you you always with for example a tripod you don't need you don't think about ISO do you care a lot about the focus points in the viewfinder do you want a lot of focus points something like 50 40 or 20 or even 11 do you care about having a full frame camera or a crop frame camera are you going to make a very large prints or uh, only small prints all these questions are very important and you have to have answers to all these questions to make us <laughs> to make it uh, easy for us to find the best answer for you and the most important question uh, how much money can you pay so now i will go directly to the main subject of this video which is my camera the, Ni the nikon 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 in the german language the nikon d90 i became not a lot of question but i became question in uh, on youtube comments on my videos asking me to make you know like a review or to say my opinion about this camera uh, i will tell you honestly i will not make like a review because it's too it will look crazy to make a review for a camera which is something like 12 years old or i think 12 or 13 years old because there's a lot thousands of reviews about this camera but i will talk about this camera and why I still like it in 2020 I still like this camera and I still use it until today and I don't think I will I will um, replace this camera in the near future so this video is going to contain three parts uh, the first one as I said I will talk about my my opinion about this camera the Nikon D90 and why I still use it and why I will not I or why I'm not thinking about changing it in the near future the second part of this video is going to be like a slideshow i will show you my best photos using this camera if you are not a subscriber and you don't um, and you didn't see my old photos using this camera i will show you only something like five between five and ten photos which i feel they are my best photos um, using this camera and the last part i will show you print uh, or not only one print a lot of my print uh, from print of photos um, which came from this camera I got uh, two days ago or something like that I got a comment from Nick Lamb he said I have been using it since 2009 but I never printed anything so it will be very interesting to see the result so first of all I will show you right now so as you can see right now I am in Wikipedia and here is written about the Nikon D90 that it's fitting between companies entry level and a professional DSLR models that means this is not an entry level camera this is more than entry level camera and at the same time this is not a professional camera because professional DSLR is a full frame camera for example Nikon D5, Nikon D810, 850 Mm, there's another thing I like about this camera I will show you look here in the body of the Nikon D90 you can see that we have autofocus and M for manual focus 90 had an um, autofocus motor when I use a lens which is manual focus like this lens for example the 50 millimeter 1.8 D and not G this lens is manual focus if you are if you will use this lens for example on Nikon um, 3300 or 3100 this uh, uh, these cameras don't have uh, autofocus motor in the body of the camera 
and that's why this lens will be manual focus lens but of course not all lenses are uh, working in the same way you have to research uh, before buying this manual focus lens and you have to be sure that it has a small bolt or a small screw and this and this screw has uh, that functions of making this lens autofocus if the body of the camera has a screw on the other side so the reason that I still like this camera I will talk about more than one reason um, first of all if you know how I take photos you know that I am always on a tripod and that's why this is the point number one I don't care about the ISO some of you may say this camera is not very good at a high ISO so this is the first point I don't care because I don't um, go more than 100 uh, ISO so the second point some of you may say this camera has only elf autofocus point in the viewfinder I also don't care because I focus manually using the LCD screen on the tripod and I focus manually so this is another thing that I don't care about if I have 50 or 40 autofocus point I don't care about having a lot of autofocus points when I focus manually and using the LCD and not the viewfinder so the third point and I think this is the last point uh, some of you may say this camera has only 12 megapixel the question for that is why you need more than 12 megapixel if you are only posting on Instagram or on Facebook we always export the photos something like only one and a half megapixel or two megapixels so why you need more than 12 megapixel if you want to print your photos I will show you a4 prints and a3 prints and even bigger than A3 but I will not talk about this uh, print because it is a panorama which means more than one photo but from only one photo from this sen sensor of the Nikon D90 I can print A3 and A4 prints which are very good do you want for example uh, 50 megapixel or 100 megapixel uh, to make a crop for me I don't crop my photos a lot because I care about the composition before taking the photo I do crop my photos for example I make them 16 by 9 or 4 by 5 or something like that but I don't crop them in a very you know heavy way so makes me need something like 50 megapixels or something like that so now we come to part 2 of this video I will show you as I said something like 5 or 10 uh, photos which are my best photos for me from the Nikon D90 and after that we will go to the part 3 I will talk about my prints some prints which I made from this camera and we will go together also to the, sh to the shop and print a photo together from the last video so see you Hello everyone, so I have just returned home from the brain service, unfortunately um, the brain service here in my city they had a problem with the uh, big printer they have uh, that's why I couldn't print a big print, I made only A4 print and that's why I had to take the train and go to the other city and go to the other branch of this brain service and to be able to print A3 print uh, so, so I will show you the both prints now but at the beginning let me just uh, show you all my prints all my old prints that I have here near me and after that we will talk about the print that I made today so as you can see right here this is all my old prints that I have here at home and as you can see all of them is A4 
only these two brands uh, are these two and these two brands are um, smaller than A4 this print here is an A4 print the same as this print here and these two prints are also A4 print so now I will try to be so close to the brand just to let you see how much it no matter how much you uh, try to stand in front of the brand it stay very sharp and the quality is amazing and this photo here it's very big because actually it's a panorama if you saw the video I was talking about this um, photo it's I think 8 or 10 I think 8 photo panorama and that's why it's very big it's something like 70 centimeter by 50 centimeter and that's why this print is very big and not like other prints which are only one photo and that's why they are A4 so now let me show you the photo that I printed today I made as I said I made two uh, two prints the A4 and the A3 print and I will show you side by side and I will prove to you that I didn't feel there's a loss in the quality I would say uh, or something like that because I made it like A3 so as you can see this is the A4 print obviously and this is the A3 print so as you have just seen I don't feel there's a lot of loss in the quality um, if I didn't have the A4 print I would say there's no loss uh, in the quality at all but when I compare with my uh, with my eyes when I compare the two prints and I um, try to be so close to the chair for example I see in the A3 prints I see like small pixels in the I don't know if you can see that for uh, in your eyes the area where I focus in the camera I can see that the A4 print is a little bit sharper than the A3 print and the A3 print you can see like a little bit loss in the quality but I say that when I am so close to the brand so if you want just to print this photo and put it on the wall I think no one will say this photo is don't have a big quality or this photo is have a little bit of pixels or something like that if you don't know how you can know exactly how much can you paint your photo I will show you right now you can go to Photoshop and open any photo you need in Photoshop and after that you go to the corner here and select the dimension and as you can see right here he gives me exactly how much centimeter can I print this photo without losing a lot of quality so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you could have some good ideas about this camera as you have just seen i can have um, a4 prints and a3 print from this camera and i don't need actually i don't need more than a3 print if i want to sell prints so thank you again for watching this video please like comment subscribe and don't forget to share this video with anyone who cares about this camera using this camera or thinking about having this camera if you are an icon uh, d90 user it will be very good idea to subscribe because i will use this camera to the near future i will not i am not thinking about uh, as i said I'm not, I'm not thinking about changing this camera this will be my camera for the coming year maybe two years three years who knows so see you next week bye